So we've just got into London, got off at Blackfriars. Now we're just uh, walking our way down South Bank, heading towards the London Eye and Shrek's Adventure, where we've got tickets booked today to go and do uh, both those attractions. Um, obviously I can't film much family today because I've also got uh, other children with me, so I uh, can't uh, obviously include those in any videos. Um, but a lot of people don't actually appreciate the view of the Thames from the South Bank. It is actually quite an impressive view and quite picturesque. One of the things I love about South Bank is uh, literally the variety of things that you get all the way along the bank. All these little uh, street food stalls, all uh, starting to get ready for their uh, trading day. You've got churros, you've got sweets and fudge, you've got noodles. Just, there is literally everything. And there's usually a fair along here as well, um, at various times. Um, Christmas is also excellent here. They put on like street fairs. Um, it's just a particularly nice part of London. No trip to South Bank would of course be complete without uh, popping into Shrek's Adventure. I'm gonna go and do Shrek's Adventure now and uh, I'll give you some feedback later on because there's no filming allowed actually in the uh, attraction itself. So here we are in Shrek's Adventure. So we're working our way to the uh, meeting point, ready to start the tour. I don't know how much of this footage we're actually allowed to film, so just keep it quiet. things I don't like about these uh, alternative murder attractions is the uh, compulsory posing for endless photographs to try and sell you at the end. Uh, they, and there's never an option to just walk through. You always have to go through the same rigmarole and in the same situation at the end of the tour, which is, no, I don't want to buy the photographs, thank you very much. Um, it would be so much easier if they just didn't bother with it or gave you the option to just walk through. So we've just come out to Shrek's Adventure. Um, they've taken away the witches from the final scene, which I was a bit disappointed about. Um, and instead you get Princess Fiona. Um, a bit disappointing, um, but actually still a great experience for adults and children alike. Uh, you know, I think everyone can get something from Shrek's Adventure. It's just a bit of fun. Um, it's quite enjoyable. There's some. Uh, adult level humour goes on in there as well as uh, the obvious humour for children um, and it's just a nice little attraction. Would I pay sort of £45 plus to take a family in there if I wasn't a Merlin pass holder? Probably not um, but as a Merlin pass holder it is a great other attraction to do so uh, yeah Shrek's Adventure definitely a thumbs up from Peg family. Hello guys, we're uh, today here at the London Eye on South Bank. We're just about to go up for our, uh, our journey. Um, this always makes me slightly nervous to drive. Um, I'm not sure why, I know it's the safest thing you can possibly get, but it just makes me nervous. I think it's the glass see-through capsules and the sheer height of it, of course, because I'm terrified of heights. But uh, yeah, absolutely makes me terrified. But I do love it as well. You can't beat the views from the top of that eye. So uh, I'm going to take you up, film as much footage as I can for you, um, and we'll have a look as we go around at what we can see from the London Eye. So we're just currently queuing, ready to get on. Um, as Merlin pass holders, you can get fast tracks, so that's great. Um, it's better, especially in the heat today, it's quite 
aggressive out there today. We touched, touched one of the handrails and that's literally burning hot. So, uh, yeah, it's a very hot day. Um, but a good day for views, yeah, it will be. Um, views across the Thames and across London will be excellent today. So, uh, I'll be uh, trying to capture as much of that as I can. So, here we are, guys, on the London Eye. I think this is such an amazing piece of engineering. And to think it was all done purely for entertainment purposes. It serves no practical purpose whatsoever. As you can see over in the background there, you've got the Palace of Westminster. Just from this side. Absolutely amazing view. Over the back there you've got uh, some halls. Might not be able to quite see that. I'll try and zoom in a little bit for you. There we go. views from, from the uh, capsule are just absolutely phenomenal. Telecom tower in the background there. Don't look down. The Amigos are very proud of me today. <laughs> my, uh, my little friendship group, the Amigos, will be very, very proud of me. I'm up here, not only up here, but standing and uh, not holding on right now, which is quite an achievement for me. We're already significantly higher than I would be comfortable with. Yeah. So we have resorted to sitting down now. So, can't handle the standing up here. Looking down is uh, starting to make me feel a little bit queasy. <laughs> so I thought I'd bring you this view. Which is probably a view that's not very often uh, recorded, to be fair. Which is the view from the, uh, the very bottom window of the capsule. As you can see, we're now nearing the very top of the eye um, for the United Descent. So, I give a massive shout out to, uh, to the Amigos, my friends, the, my good friends, the Amigos, Coast to Tog, Coast to Catra, Thrills and Food and coast the chicken. Here I am, at the top of the London Eye, smashing it. G-Man's here with me. Can I G? Yeah. 
can't say that I'm not slightly scared, because I am. Always am. But, um, but each time I do this, it does feel a bit more comfortable, so it's not so bad. So we're now beginning our descent back to normality. I have to say, I think this, this thing bothers me more going down than it does coming up, which is bizarre, I suppose, but drops are always. It's not so much height, maybe it's drops of things that bother me. Or maybe it's the fact that this moves just so slowly. And all I want to do is get down. I like quick drops, they get me down quickly. Um, which is probably why I love the drop on stealth so much. But uh, yeah, this very slow descent doesn't always sit very well with me. Um, it can be quite torturous. But as I've said, it's worth it when what you get is a view like this. And I mean, that's just an absolutely outstanding view of London. You know, it's just amazing. It's an absolutely amazing view. And that's it. We're done. The London Eye is complete. A total revolution. And uh, we are now heading back down. Meet up with uh, Karen, who unfortunately couldn't come onto the London Eye with us because as we were queuing, Elijah fell asleep in the bush chair, which means she couldn't come on with him because you can't take push chairs on to the London Eye unless they're collapsed. Bit of a silly rule, but it just meant that she then couldn't go on. But that is it, guys. That's the end of the London Eye. So that's the end of our uh, day here in a very, very hot London on the South Bank. We've done Shrek's Adventure, we've done the London Eye, we're going to play in the Jubilee Park. A great day out. £16 for us to get into the town, so that was great. Um, Shrek's Adventure, as I said, a lot of fun, but don't think it's necessarily worth the money. The London Eye works out about the same price as uh, Shrek's Adventure. Probably more worth the money with regards to the sightseeing aspect of it and the fact that obviously weather depending you see something different um, <clears throat> and the views change all the time as London changes um, but it's been a lovely day I love coming into London I love the cultural diversity of London it's just so amazing you know every type of human being is here in the city just getting on with their day and getting on and it's amazing love it absolutely love it but that's it our day has come to an end hope you've enjoyed the vlog if you have please hit the subscribe button and uh, i'll catch you in a video soon